Hi everyone. Today, in this video, I'm going to cover the unit circle. It's very important for geometry and trigonometry. And so I'm just going to kind of break it down piece by piece and explain to you what all this you know, on this graph really means. So the first thing is we're going to define the unit circle, you know, what it actually is. You know, the base formula uh, for a circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. And we call that the unit circle. And what that means is that we have a circle, the radius of 1, centered around the origin, or 0, comma 0. And what we can do, we can use this circle as a way to find the relationships between various uh, trigonometric ratios. So the first thing that we, that we can do is we can find the value of sine or cosine using the unit circle. So at any point along this circle, any point, you know, if I was to pick a point right here, and give the coordinates of x comma y. The value of the sine of the angle formed by this line and the uh, x-axis. So the value of this angle for the uh, cosine of the angle is just the x value of the coordinate there. For sine, it's the y value. So you can use any you know, set of points along the line to find the sine and cosine of an angle uh, with relation to that point. The next thing I'm going to explain is what this variable theta actually is. It's used a lot in trigonometry, and it's used a lot uh, to refer to this triangle as the uh, circle. And so, you know, theta, all that refers to, it's like it's a variable uh, for any given angle. So, you know, like it'd be like the sine of theta, the cosine of theta. You know, that's, it's used to refer to an angle. And so, you know, we can, we can use the unit circle to find the value of sine and theta at any point along the unit circle. And so what we can also use uh, from that, you can find if uh, sine or cosine of an angle will be positive at any given point, or negative at any given point, using the unit circle. So as it's drawn over an x and y axis, we know that in the first and second quadrant, and the sine of any angle will be positive because all of the potential y values in this you know, semicircle here will be positive. We know in the third and fourth quadrant that any sine of an angle will be negative because these are negative y values down here. And now for cosine, we know that uh, in the first and fourth quadrant, we'll get a positive value for the cosine of an angle because these are where the values where x is positive. And for the second and third quadrant, we know that cosine will be negative because those are the negative values for the x-axis. And the final thing we can find using the unit circle is we can define a few Pythagorean identities, they're called. And what these are, they're just kind of simple shortcuts for calculating the uh, sine or cosine of an angle. So what the Pythagorean identity is, I'll write this on the board, What it tells us is that the sine squared of an angle plus the cosine squared of an angle, if you add those together, they're going to equal 1. And you can see this based on all the points I have marked here along the unit circle. At the point 1, 0, if you add the sine squared of that angle, which would be a 0 degree angle, plus the cosine squared of that angle, you're going to get 1. And that's true for any of these points here along. You know, so at this point here, 0, 1, if you do the sine squared of that angle, which would be a 90-degree uh, angle, or pi over 2, plus the cosine squared of that angle, and you'll still get 1. And that'll be true of any point here along this axis, because we know that the radius is going to be 1 for this circle. So there's just a few of the things for the unit circle. Check out all of our other videos for help in math. Thanks for watching.